one of the things that I, I want to talk about and actually go a little bit deeper here with, because I think it's important. I, I don't actually agree with you about something. And that's that people know what to eat. And the reason why I say that is because a, there's so much misinformation in nutrition. Like, you know, this, you go look at the back of a box. People may think that's healthy, right? Or fast food or whatever. Can you give us just some baseline pointers about a, what is the difference between like healthy food and bad foods? And again, this is objective to everyone. So let's be clear, but, but also why you said, you know, maybe packaged foods aren't the way that you should go. Yeah, of course. And I think what I, what I meant by you know, most people know that, and I, I do think you're right, there are like kind of the healthy foods in the box that can actually be like just as, you know, just as bad for you. But I, I think kind of on a broader scale, what I was talking about is I think most people know that like an apple is going to be better for you than a box of Oreos, right? Like I think that those extremes, but you're right, there is a is a gray area uh, that can be very confusing to people, be, particularly because of the way that these food companies market and all of that stuff. So, you know, the thing is, is that, just to kind of, you know, explain why I say that when it comes to nutrition, right? Nutrition really can be very simple. We have just overcomplicated it. We very, we very much overcomplicated. When I talk about getting more real food into your diet, I'm really talking about the perimeter of the grocery store, right? So if you'll notice pretty much every grocery store is set up the same way. It's at the perimeter of the grocery store, not going, not snaking through those inner aisles, the, where you're going to find the fresh foods are going to be around the outer perimeters of the store. And the reason why stuff in a box and a package can, um, can be not only like harmful for your health, but also like if you have some weight loss goals, why it can just kind of derail you and you don't even realize it is because um, on the extreme, of course, you've got the stuff that's like loaded with chemicals that can be like big hormone disruptors for your body and loaded with the like saturated fats, which are bad for your heart. And you've got stuff, at, you know, that's like loaded with sugar, um, which can affect your hormones as well. And, you you know, the way that you store fat uh, and cause inflammation in the body. It's basically like oh, there's kind of those extremes, right? With those are, again, like maybe the things that you might you might think like, oh, OK, yeah, bag of Doritos like that might not be that might not be great. But there's also kind of this whole other area of, of foods in a box or a package that market themselves as being healthy, but they're still loaded with like fake sugars, right? Um, they're still loaded with stuff. Um, uh, they could still be high in, in sugars. They could still have, um, you know, lots of chemicals and stuff in them. So when I teach nutrition, I'm not unrealistic that like you're never going to eat anything out of a box or a package. Like that's ridiculous. I, I do. Um, but it's just becoming aware of what you're putting into your body, right? So kind of my rule of thumb is if I go to the grocery store and I flip something over and I'm looking at the label and I can't pronounce what pretty much like what's in, what's in the ingredients, I don't buy it. There's enough options out there right now um, to where you, but you just have to look, you have to know what you're looking for. And that's, that's, that's what I'm going to teach you is that you just, you want to flip it over and look at the ingredients first. And you just really ideally want to go for something in a box or a package. If you can't find it like fresh or you you need something that's fast and on the go. And a lot of people are busy. You just want to look at as few of it, as few as uh, ingredients as possible. And you want them to be real food. Right. So you really try, want to try and stay away from stuff that has a lot of chemical names in it. Um, any of the, if you're wondering, you heard me say a second ago, like fake sugars, and you're like, I don't even know if I'd know how to, what to, uh, to spot that. Really, any of those ending in the O S E, like sucralose, dextrose, like any of those, like they could mean sugar, not necessarily fake sugar. Some of them are fake sugars. And that, uh, some of them are just another word for sugar. But uh, again, we want to be mindful of things with extra sugar in them because sugar can bring a whole host of problems um, for the body. Not only is it can be extra calories, so that can increase your weight, but also again, inflammation in the body. It can disrupt your gut health. 